Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for taking the time out for yourself, um, being able to see the signs that are heading towards your way, being able to let go and enhance on things that you know you need to. So, you know, keep going and doing you. you you about to be there and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been um, watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards the positive direction also if you feel like the video is uh, giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath they're truly going through some dark times right now um, and they need confirmation and validation even for empaths they need com confirmation and validations towards their soul soul purpose or even their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um my meditation music that i'm listening to is called reiki music multiple healing planes physical mental and emotional and spiritual and i will post that link in the description box below and um my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Ocas, when your light irritates others' uh, demons, you're, not everybody will like you. No, <laughs> they won't. Just because the fact is your light shines brighter than theirs, they do, they're not going to like you. They feel you as competition or a threat. You know, especially the other uh, empaths that are going through some stuff. And, you know, I've had many people that have came across my path that so-called truly loved me and, you know, appreciated everything I did. But they did everything in their power to throw, you know, negative vibes my way. You know, hoping that I have mishaps in my life, hoping that I'll be stuck in my, my toxic situation. But, you know, I say I can't allow people to get, you know... To get in my way like that you know and sometimes it's just like i still deal with it here and there's times i'll be looking at it and i'm just like no here we go you know when you're an empath i mean not just an empath but just a hey Oka, you know we t we have that 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 tem tendency to bring out a lot of people's insecurities and you know at the point you have to sometimes shake your head sometimes you gotta chuckle you know and just say lord please Please pray for them. Work on them, Lord. Please work on them before I end up working on them. And I ain't trying to work on nobody. You know, some some people allow, you know, um, will spear out their insecurities on you, how they feel about themselves. They will say this about you. You know, I've had people tell me, you ain't got enough confidence in yourself. You ain't got enough strength. And then when things pop off with them and I talk to them, I said, so why do you feel like you can't do this? Why? Oh, you know, I just don't feel like I have this, you know, the faith in myself. I said, oh. Oh, the things you were trying to tell me about my life. I mean, since so many people know more about my life than I do, okay? You know, I, I said there's a difference between, you know, somebody trying to help you for you allow yourself to see the things that, you know, that's enlightening you and you just can't see it. And there's a difference when somebody throwing shade at you or trying to be uh, indirect and direct by hitting below the belt. You know, I say I know the difference between them. I, I felt that yesterday. Like, I know I was the topic of conversation all day yesterday just because the fact is I'm not the person I used to be. People haven't seen me for nine or ten years. They're like, Rosalind, you have changed a lot. And I'm like, yeah, I've been through a lot. You know, I guess they were thinking I was about to open up and tell my business. No, nah, when it's meant for you to know, baby, you'll know. I ain't about to do that because I said last time I, you know, even though when it's time for me to tell my story for people to, for me to open up and tell people, a lot of people can't handle that truth that pill it's hard for them to swallow so they just spit that mess out until, oh i'm still here for you knowing they can't stand you like i hope and pray she don't get nothing she's trying to aim for and there's a lot of people that's out there thinking the same thing about you because they see that you have overcome almost every damn near ob obstacle that's been placed in your your uh life 
and you're overcoming it or you're not you're not um downplaying yourself you know in ways that you might have done before you know with us being hey because we tend to bring that out in people and it was like yesterday i was being a little calm i was being a little devil at it too like oh they said it you know they're asking me you know we went out to eat and asking oh you gonna get you a drink Ross? and i said baby i don't even drink i don't smoke no more either you know i couldn't wait to go back and tell my adopted father and my his wife that because they know that's all i used to fiend for and i was telling them i said shoot i don't get high no more hell i couldn't get high no more <laughs> so I just left that mess alone. I said, usually when you do that, you tend to try to find another gateway drug to go up to something that will make you high. And I was like, no, not today. Not today. It won't be tomorrow either. <laughs> so it's just I find better ways to deal with my stress and my stuff like that. So when you show people your power, they don't like seeing that. That That's more of a personal problem than it is a problem with me. You know, I ain't trying to brag about it, but... That's something to be very proud of, you know, especially when it's dealing with folks that you haven't seen for in a while. You know, I just get, I ain't going to open a whole door for you. I might scoot you a couple of, you know, chair, lawn chairs for you to sit out there for a minute, but I ain't about to open the door and tell you to come in. I'm not about to do that. You know, I've seen too many people that act like they were so-called friends and they were so much for me. You know, I don't block so many people out my life for that. You know, be asking me, oh, you have any good news? You ain't even said, hey, how you doing? Do you need anything? You too busy worrying about my personal life. It is crazy when I had on my dad's anniversary, on my dad's anniversary, I had a so-called ex-friend because she, she out my life. I, I couldn't deal with that. You drunk on Easter Sunday, drunk on Easter Sunday, and it's six o'clock in the morning. You know you got issues if you drunk that early in the morning trying to ask me about that. I do a DNA test with me and my daddy. Number one, they ain't your damn business. Number two, I know what's mine and I know what's not mine. <laughs> okay, what's going to be for me? Nobody ain't going to stop that. You know, there's just too many people if you try to be in your business because their life ain't right. So they want to make sure that you don't get nothing or they want to assume that you're telling stories about stuff. Like I tell people all the time, you know, if you've been, I love the fact that when you know people have seen my videos because they're you know there are certain things that they're looking for you know they're looking for hayoka stuff they're looking for you know things that happen with ascensions and spiritual awakenings and dark night of the souls and stuff like that and then when they finally they've been watching my videos for a while and they very they get comfortable with my videos they they love my videos and then it just so happened that you know universe dropped that little intro in just to let you know why i did it and y'all throw your whole daggone game into a loop like wait a minute what you know and it's supposed to be like that you have to get used to me you know it's just the fact is i have no reason to lie i keep it realer than real you know i'm not saying oh i'm realer than the other person no I, i'm i'm real about me <laughs> you know me comparing what other folks do you know if they talking about me in a in a in their channel i'm like hey that's good thank you you bring me you know you bring me more people towards my way to want to listen but it's like you know i'm not gonna spend all day trying to you know convince you about anything about me you know i used to do that you know i wanted people to believe me but i feel like the right people that come into my life that are empaths they gonna know if i'm telling the truth or not that y'all know when somebody lying to you and there's a lot of people don't like the fact of who i am and who i you know i i've, I've uh, related to and all these different things I mean, it's just like you're trying to understand because my dad was a very private person. You know, they assumed that my dad had no children. But if you were born before he got famous, of course, you're not going to know. <laughs> you're not going to know. My dad knows a lot of there are so many people in my dad's circle that I can tell them about going through things that there are certain things that he did certain things. And they knew I was right because they knew I was I wasn't lying. But the freaky thing is, it's like if she never, never met her dad, how would she know these things? I'm an empath. I was supposed to know you and not everybody's supposed to understand your journey as long as you understand your journey that's all that matters but you know don't allow people's hatred make you lose focus on the things you're trying to achieve because that's the main reason for them to do that they will throw they will they will pray over your downfall they will hope you have a downfall there's a lot of people that's like that you know that's why i try to eliminate a lot of people in my life i talk to myself more than i talk to other people other than here you know, conversing amongst y'all with the, you know, 
one-on-ones, the empath counselments, or even dropping comments. You know, I, I love to help people. I love to, you know, bring less confusion towards your life, give you more understanding and blessings towards you than heartache and drama. <laughs> you know, so you keep doing yourself. You keep working on you, keep improving yourself. Let go of the things you need to let go of. Shed the faucets that need to be shedded. And add towards yourself that is going to bring high frequencies to your life. Bring happiness. Bring love to your life. But, you know, when you start getting those little feelings, you know, I, and it's sad when you connect with people. And I start getting these feelings like, oh, Lord, I ain't about to be associates with you too long. Or, oh, God, I already see that I'm not about to be friends with you so long. You better cut them cords real quick. Because a lot of people, they're not there for you. They're they're there for the need of you. They, you know, they'll shoot you a text here or there to make sure you're okay. Just for when they do need you, they have that connection with you. And a lot of times, you know, I seen a post the other day that I shared. You know, some people take that 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 knife and stab you in the back. The people, <laughs> the other people like us, tend to use that knife and cut them cords. So you ain't got to deal with them folks. You know, sometimes you got to be able to fool the fool. They're just trying to fool you to play the fool. I hope you were able to get that. <laughs> but yeah, you keep doing yourself. You keep working on you. You know, you help the people you need to help. But the other ones, you know, they tend to, tend to, you know, tend to keep bringing, you know, low frequencies to you. And they're not, you know, trying to elevate themselves. You need to gravitate towards people that want the things that you want in life. Like, they're not the things you're actually aiming for, but wanting that growth like you do pushing out love like you do being able to open their self up to bigger and better possibilities the ones that are trying to elevate you and elevate yourself you know nobody's in competition with nobody because your journey is your journey and their journey is their journey and if they too busy concentrating on your journey they ain't gonna be focused on the things they need to fix in their journey and if you too fo focused on their journey, you ain't going to be able to fix the stuff in your journey. You're going to be still going in, going in them circles while everybody else is bypassing you and doing the things they need to do. And you over here side hating. You know, you should never, you know, never get mad at other people's blessings and what they're getting because you don't know what they had to endure. People be wanting your spot, but they, when, but they don't want to be able to do the things that you had to do to get that spot. So you keep working on yourself. Keep graduating, keep thriving, and keep elevating. You'll be where you need to be. So, I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video. I'm giving much love to uh, Malachi Smith. Much love to you as well. And I will talk to you on my ne ne ugh, next video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And there's always somebody out there praying for your better day. I know I pray for y'all every day. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your blessing and kindness can really take somebody a long way. So like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a, you know, send me a, shoot me a text. Let me know. I said shoot me a text. Shoot, drop me a comment and let me know you resonate. And I will see you on my next video. Give me a thumbs up as well and hit that bell. Much love. Peace. Be wild.